Coach Dan Tortora, Wake Up Call, DT.com. Just what you can say about not only your story, but your family's story. You're the first Cuban American head coach at Miami, but your family has a very unique story of coming to America itself. So just what you can say about not only having that story, kind of share that with us a little bit, but how you got to where you are today making history with Miami. Yeah, super, feel super blessed. I'm super blessed to just stand here in this uh, ballroom today as a head coach of the University of Miami. Uh, to be a head coach in the uh, Atlantic Coast Conference. Uh, this starts my 13th year in some capacity in this league, more than any other league I've ever been in. Uh, my story is its the traditional Miami story. You know, uh, my two families, one family that sort of moving down from the northeast part of the country, and another family that was, you know, forced out of their homeland in Cuba. And uh, my mom and dad met and, and had me, and. and taught me, like, you know, Miami in a weird way is sort of the microcosm of the American dream. Because generally speaking, not many of us that are from there are from there. And if you're from there, you're not probably second, third generation from Miami. So it is a place where you kind of have to go make your way. Uh, you can, it's the old, you know, idea, you can be what you want to be, which again, we're, you know, we're all believers in the American dream. And I think that's, I think Miami is a, is a, a showcase for that. And I'll be very honest, I think the Miami Hurricanes our showcase for that. That's really what the Miami Hurricanes did in the 80s. There's just not very many college football programs that crash the college football scene. This has been a sport that's been for always, for a long time, been dominated by the Blue Bloods. And very rarely the team just sort of sneak in, and Miami did. Miami snuck in. Why? Because of the, the greatest resource we have in our city, which is what? Which is our people. Which is our talent. The talent in South Florida sort of crashed on the scene and were able to knock off the Nebraskans and the Oklahomas and the Notre Dames and the, the sort of the traditional powers in the 80s, and that put Miami on the map. And now, you know, bringing it full circle, for me to be now in charge to bring Miami back to that point, uh, I'll be very honest, if you wrote it on a script, Hollywood throw, would throw it out, it would be too unbelievable. So, uh, so on one hand, I pinch myself every day, but on the other hand, I realize that there's a lot of work to be done because this is a place where it can happen. Uh, the script has been written in terms of how it happens, and, and my job is to really follow the script and make these guys uh, understand the recipe for success and, and hold them to it. Coach, to your left, second row.